hello and uh, welcome back uh, today I have two tender devices and it's the TF200 and the GG105 and you have seen before from me a review about the tenders only that time it was the 600 the TF600 frequency counter up to 600 and the generator 102 the GT102 and that one only came up to 2 MHz and this one, this generator goes up to 5 MHz um, but it's not only a generator, it's actually a pulse generator so this one uh, yeah, you can put delays, pulse width you can change the width and everything we're gonna see that on the scope so it's actually a little bit of a different uh, device um, but you can see it's the it's the same family no so that's nice maybe i'm gonna even open the old one just to see what is the difference and for the frequency counters it's exactly the same i already did the 600 and now we have the 200 aside that the uh, color is different well the number of the device already explains this one goes to 200 megahertz this one went up to 600 and i think we tested even around 800 so this one will pr probably also go a little bit higher yeah the color is different what can i say i prefer <laughs> if it was all the gray like uh, the devices here and the display is different this was very nice with leds with leds and this is the lcd and it is also dirty maybe it was a smoker it's not from the same seller these things um, so hopefully there is you can see it's even a little bit brown so hopefully we can clean that from the display and get it clear but first we're gonna test if it even works so and again like in the uh, other frequency counter uh, you can see here again that uh, the tender even it became later TTI they they love to have batteries in the frequency counters and and here again the the frequency counter doesn't have the uh, it has 12 volts so it can charge batteries and and here is the battery compartment exactly if we saw in the 600 well the channel the signal generator just has a normal power connector and uh, yeah they, they had this thing and 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 Tendler was apparently uh, very strong in that because even after they went to TTI they joined with uh, with the other T <laughs> Tendler and Turbly I think um, he was strong about his batteries Mr. Uh, Tendler because here I have the TTI and it is from a few years ago it's brand new and uh, it also has batteries so he get this leg straight i want my batteries <laughs> okay i connected the power adapter i will start with the frequency counter i like frequency counters you probably know by now so uh, let's see if we can switch it on we can one two three four five six seven eight eight digits it's okay it's probably very old uh, oh it even have 100 seconds so let's put it first to one they have a time average per they have low frequency and high frequency and here they call it channel a and b so i'm a bit confused if you say here channel a and channel b why don't you say here channel a and channel b but okay that's just me uh, so if they say here high freak which is in the low frequencies and that is uh, the one megahertz and uh, sorry one mega ohm and this one is the 50 ohms but uh, i will just uh, feed in signal you see uh, i don't need this signal um, it has an external input that i always like that makes it a very professional counter 
and a low frequency put it on 10 seconds need to wait a bit meanwhile I get prepared to get also the external reference now I also wonder if when it is on internal if it actually outputs a signal because sometimes that is done how it does that is a little bit of a surprise it doesn't work on 10 megahertz at least it outputs now 1 megahertz and I would have expected it was 10 but maybe like the Maconi in that time they used 1 well, I can do 1 so that's not a problem but usually you would expect it they want one megahertz okay surprised I'm now running it on his own oscillator and I'm feeding in uh, 100 megahertz with the Maconi 50 millivolts as I usually do and I just want to see uh, how high it goes you can see it's a little bit off although the oscilloscope says it's uh, exactly 1.0000000 and that is its own oscillator uh, exporting at 1 megahertz I'm now looking at what I can do maybe here if I put it frequency A it's not that bad it almost is 1 megahertz but still it um, we can put a little bit more digits okay yes it is indeed a little bit off and you see exactly that the here 107 and this is 893 so that is exactly the 107 <laughs> that is missing so that is okay so you see even though the oscilloscope said 1 well zero, 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 then the oscilloscope loses the digits um, yeah so let's put uh, 200 it does work up to 200 still so the machine is good sensitivity is good because 50 millivolts yeah I think you could be testing on 25 with the older models 50 millivolts is nothing but I, I can put just to to 20 is the maximum we can run it at it's nice it's 10% extra and they are pretty well uh, rated as you can see it, it just running now on uh, external reference and uh, th there is an option if you want to see more zeros it goes to overload but it still counts so I can put it also to 10 seconds like now you are missing the first digit there is an arrow like overload but it does show all the digit there so I wonder what what happens if we put the 100 seconds if he also lost the two the other two and then we see maybe only zeros that would be funny okay it does exactly that and in those uh, 200 megahertz and we are looking really because the, you can see the two one we missed both the, the the twos so this is the zero of the 20 and then we have one two three the dot is here and then we are already below so it's 0.1 of a hertz and it seems it's off or it just missed one single count in those 100 seconds and uh, well the, the Tendler or the TTI from now they, they learn a, li uh, a bit more so they made things smarter because now 100 seconds is really 100 seconds and with this new TTI the TF930 here 
even though that your time is in 100 or well, the first time it takes 100 but after that every two seconds it's updating because it's just shifting it's 100 it's like rolling but here it's still old technique so we need to really need to wait um, I will put 199 instead of 200 and then we should have seen a 9 here so So it does show this 9 and 0, 0, 0, 0. So I will put uh, in the Makoni like 50 Hz extra just to see if we can see the 50 there. Just to see, even though it overloads, because it clearly overloads because it should say 199 and it only shows the 9, that it's still accurate. I'm just wondering. look at this even though it's in overload and you need to know that but you can see that because of the error so the arrow so um when you first do one second you know where you are and then you can move a little bit like 10 seconds and then you can go to 100 seconds but if you are in 100 seconds look at this this is the 9 from the 199 and i added 50 hertz so it's one two three zero five one and then you have the extra one it is maybe the one that he missed it's running on external so maybe i i don't know why that is but i i, I noticed this even on the modern counters that it's always the last digit that somehow adds one i don't know why but if you can see it's even so it's 50 edge so it's 0.1 accurate even around on its limits okay let's open we're gonna clean try to clean this dirty display as you can see it's i, I think the cell is a smoker i don't know because you see this really this dirt in the middle and, and and i'm not sure if it's on the top or it's inside or it's just because it just has been switched on for so long but uh, let's have a look just finding out it uh has been calibrated in uh, 86 October 86 I think that is 22 degrees but it says Koning and Hartmann and that means that was a proper company so at least it has been calibrated 35 years ago oh my god I open it it's just uh, four screws and a little one in the back and as you can see it was nice or it has been repaired because everything is on 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 sockets that is very nice because for repairing that's very easy and there is a pot here but I can see also that there is a, a trimmer right there to adjust the frequency and there is just a normal crystal and i need to zoom in to see if it's 10 and later it's divided into one going to the back and then when you feed it in it's also locking on that one instead of in the 10. i saw that in a Marconi. No, i was kind of surprised because all the devices now use uh, 10 megahertz and in the Marconis, both of them, I, I noticed that the oscillator was actually 10, but the reference was 1. So I want to see in this crystal how it is in this device. Surprise, surprise, it's 4 megahertz. I lose uh, all the screws from the PCB just to try to lift it from his uh, housing. And it seems to come loose okay and now somehow i want to try to get the front off because i want to see if i can clean the ugly display another surprise there is no plastic in between so the dirty brown is actually really the glass so i hope i can clean i want to be careful because usually my brush cleaning is on plastic and i don't want to ruin the the real glass or the display itself i'm not sure how to i will try things
Okay, it is a lot cleaner. Uh, I was not really able to get the brown stuff out of the display. As you can see, but it did get a bit better. And it was glass instead of plastic. So if I put on the right corner, you can see it's clear. Uh, also, I want to try now a different method to uh, to adjust the internal clock. And this clock outputs uh, one megahertz, and I should put in one megahertz. So what I'm going to do, and I was asked this before, why don't you do it like that? So I'm going to do it like that. I put my uh, my one megahertz reference into the oscilloscope. I will put the output of this reference also on the oscilloscope and then when there is a difference you should see the things moving the waves one reference and the other reference and then you should try to make them both steady so uh, let's do that okay here we have it on channel one i have my uh, reference from the gpsdo with my uh, ds5 fts5 sorry it divides into one megahertz and on the other channel I have the output of the tender Wait. so here is the output of my GPSDO I am on the 1 MHz output it goes here into the scope and the other port goes here here output of the tender I will leave it switched on for 10 minutes and if you can see they are not aligned so that means I need to adjust the tender and then the waves should align maybe if I put it a, a little bit more then it kind of look better like this and now we wait a bit for the oscillator of the tender to stabilize okay it has been switched on for a while now and I'm not sure if you can see but we have some readouts here and frequency 2 says it's like 1 megahertz and frequency 1 says it's 9999999 so the oscilloscope is not that uh, precise enough to do this but good we have the, the view oh, maybe I can zoom in yes I can and the thing that we should do now is I change the oscillator and that is the purple one and it should be in sync with the yellow one so I just start turning to the left first so ooh, that is the wrong way so we start turning up if you can see that indeed is a nice method and I think we up oh, too much and we need to make it freeze and this is almost locked I would say it's indeed very nice method and now it's locked so it should be exactly the same now I hope when we close the cover it is still like this and uh, maybe we can reset the statistics I don't know if I switch it off and back on yes it starts to sample again okay that method with the oscilloscope actually worked very well we are now on a 10 seconds uh, gate and uh, this is exactly one megahertz and it's running on its uh, local oscillator so uh, that was actually quite easy so thank you guys for this uh, tip this is on the gate of 100 seconds and it turns out we actually did a very good job and this is running on its internal oscillator so this uh, tender is not bad at all I'm surprised it's good <laughs>